Hello everyone, this is Mokhtar Akbari, physiotherapist here in Ottawa, Canada. Today I'm going to share with you a short video on uh, what to do if you get neck pain from looking down all the time on computer uh, or laptop or smartphone. Um, a lot of people have been spending more time on their devices since the pandemic began and it's, I'm seeing a lot of patients now uh, that are developing neck pain from all that time spent uh, using a laptop or a uh, a device where they have to be looking down all of the time. Um, so basically, there's many structures in the neck that can be affected by this. Uh, one of them can be uh, the discs in the neck. Another one can be the, the facet joints at the back of the, the neck vertebrae. Um, and uh, any, any single posture that we keep for long periods of time, be it uh, for the low back or the neck or different areas of the body, tends not to be good for the body. And it's the same for uh, spending long periods of time looking down. So a lot of people don't have a proper ergonomic uh, uh, workstation set up. Um, ideally, you should be having a separate screen that you can use to attach to your laptop if that's what you're using to type so that you can be looking straight ahead of you at the screen instead of having to look down at the laptop screen. Now, if you use a laptop for short periods of time and you're standing and doing other things, it won't be as, uh, uh, as problematic. But if you're spending your whole day uh, working on the laptop and staring at the screen looking down, uh, it's uh, likely or more likely that you'll be developing some neck issues. So to remedy that, first, buy a screen. Second, here are some uh, exercises uh, and stretches that you can do to, to, to help you out. So a very simple exercise that you can do is just something to help rebalance the neck out. So when we're spending long periods of time in sitting, what we tend to do is looking down, but also what tends to happen is the chin tends to come forward. Now, ideally, you want the ear to be aligned with the middle of the shoulder when you're, when you're in a sitting posture. So about here or here for me should be the best posture to eliminate tension in the neck. Um, when we're sitting for long periods, this tends to happen. So one way to kind of rebalance this is every half hour um, or hour, you can do this exercise. It's called a chin tuck or neck retraction. You want a chair that ends at about your mid back, about the height of my chair or maybe a little bit lower. And what you want to be doing is tuck your chin in and go backwards like this and then release. So you should be feeling a stretch in the neck area and across the mid back as well. So tuck your chin in, go as far back as you can and release. And don't be scared to push against the edge of the chair here. So push against the edge of the chair, go back and release. And try to do this about five to 10 times. And if you're having neck pain, try to see afterwards, does the pain in your neck change or decrease in any way? So if you had pain turning, turn your neck again and see does it feel better after having done that exercise. If it feels better, or if it feels roughly the same, then it's safe for you to do that. Um, uh, of course, if you felt like the pain is getting worse after you did the exercise, so the movement is, is more painful, then please don't do that. Also, uh, please use common sense. Um, I have not diagnosed or, uh, or assessed you. Uh, this is just a general help video to, to, to help people uh, improve, uh, improve pain and not get pain in the first place. So be diligent and uh, if the exercise is not helping you uh, and it's not right for you, then please get an assessment with um, a healthcare professional, physiotherapist or otherwise uh, near you. So that was the first stretch. Second stretch I will show you, it will be a standing one. I'm gonna stand back a little bit further here so you can see me. Actually, let me turn the camera up a bit. There you go. So, um, <clears throat> second stretch is you can lock your hands behind your back, pull your shoulders backwards, and then look up and pull your shoulders back and release. And again, the same thing, pull the shoulders back. You, if you can't bring your hand up, it's okay. You can leave it on your back, but if you can, that's better. And then you're tucking your chin in and looking up slightly at the same time. You want to be feeling a stretch across the chest when you're doing this. And you want to be feeling, if you had discomfort in your neck before, that afterwards things feel a little bit better, um, that you're sitting in a bit of a better posture. Um, as well, I'm going to show you one other thing that I find really important. 
So a lot of people, when they're, when they're sitting, um, when we sit, our, the natural curve in our back tends to become flat. And then this kind of brings our neck into a forward sitting position in the first place. That's why a lot of the, the chairs have a lumbar support over here. So where you can basically get a, a better, um, it'll bring your back into a better posture. So, um, so a lot of chairs, you know, they're, they're not office chairs or even if they're office chairs, they don't have a proper lumbar support. So one very good device to use to help with both low back pain, but also with neck issues is to use a roll like this. So it's called a lumbar roll. And there's many of them that are sold on the internet. Um, I like the smaller ones because the bigger ones tend to be uncomfortable. And what you want is to put it in the small of your back and it'll stay on your chair like this. And then when you sit back against that naturally, because it's pushing your, your, your tummy forward or your low back forward, it'll bring your neck a bit in a better posture. So, okay, so that was it. So these are three things that you can do. Um, actually four things. We talked about the roll. We talked about having a computer screen so that you can look straight ahead of you. And then two exercises that I showed you that you could do uh, you know, every hour or second hour during the day to try to relieve some of the neck pain that's related to spending long hours looking down. Of course, uh, I haven't assessed your condition, um, so please use your due diligence and, um, and use your common sense when using these exercises, but I hope it'll help you, and I'll see you next time.